Question 23. Look at this diagram. Calculate the size of angle X and angle Y. Do not use a protractor or an angle measurer. Now, the thing to remember with this one is because it says do not use a protractor, we've got to use some angle rules. Now, what rules do we know about this diagram? Well, first of all, I'm going to bring in a little piece of paper to cover something up. Now, if I cover up this little bit on the corner here, you can see I've got a triangle left. Now, what do we know about a triangle? Well, we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So these three angles must add up to 180. Now, if you see a little square in the corner of an angle, that means it's 90 degrees. So that one is 90 degrees, and we still need to find angle X. So to find angle X, if we add the two together that we know to see what we've got, so we've got 90 plus 35, what does that make? 0 and 5 is 5. 9 and 3 is 12. So, so far we've got 125 degrees, but we need to make it up to 180. So, if we find the difference from 125 up to 180, we'll get this angle X here. So, let's find the difference. So, 180 take away 125, and whatever that is will be our missing angle X. So, 0 take away 5 we can't do. Borrow 1. That becomes 10. 10 take away 5 is 5. 7 take away 2 is 5. And 1 take away 1 is nothing. So the final answer for angle X is 55 degrees. And that's angle X done. Now for the second angle, we're done with the fact that this is a triangle. So let's see what happens if we take this away. Now we've got to focus on this angle Y. Now, if we use our piece of paper again to cover up this part of the picture, then now you should be able to see this here. Now, what we've got here is angles sitting on a straight line. So there's a straight line at the bottom, and we've got angles sitting on top of that straight line. And you should know is that angles on a straight line add up to 180 again. So those two angles add up to 180. Another way of saying this would be that if you continued round, you're actually going to make a circle. And we know that angles in a circle make 360. So if it's a straight line, it's like saying that it's half of a circle. So it'd be 180 in both halves. So angles in these two angles must add up to 180. So if we take the 35 that we've already been given off of 180, we will get the missing angle. So 0 take away 5 we can't do, so we need to borrow 1. 10 take away 5 is 5. 7 take away 3 is 4. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So this missing angle here must be 145 degrees, because those two will now make 180. So angle Y, 145 degrees. So there's your two answers. But just remember your rules. Angles in a triangle must make 180, which is that part of the diagram. And then angles on a straight line must make 180, which is this part of the diagram here. Always helpful to cover up parts of the diagram to make the rules more obvious. Angles in the triangles there, angles on the straight lines there.